So while we're on the topic of sunflowers, I have another sunflower um, pot, not another pot, but I have some other sunflowers that I grew. And this variety is the dwarf sunflower. They're still pretty tall. They're still around three feet tall. Those are definitely like 10 feet tall. They're still tall to me if they're a tall flower, but these are the dwarf size and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to harvest these. So let's go. And these are a gorgeous sunflower. When these bloom, they are just the most beautiful sunflower. I will definitely insert a picture of what these look like when they first bloomed. Okay, so these are the dwarf sunflower and as you can see, these are definitely way smaller than the ones on the other side of the fence. And right now, this is the perfect time to harvest them. And let me just show you what you wanna see when you're gonna harvest the seeds. So you want them to definitely be drooping over like this, like facing the ground. And when you look at them, you want to see a nice yellow color on the back of the sunflower. Um, this one's definitely ready to be cut off. But as you can see, this other one's a little more green. I'm gonna let it go for a little bit longer until it gets to around this color. So this is a telltale sign that it's ready to be harvested. And then when you look in here, you can see all of the seeds are already produced. So, um, the seeds are all in here and they have developed and they are ready to be harvested. Let me see if I can show you. So if you go like this, you'll see the seeds underneath there. You see that? And there are all the little seeds in there. So let's go ahead and harvest some sunflowers. You want these to be as dry as possible when you're harvesting them. This isn't ready in the middle. You see all those that are close together? They still need time to develop. So we're gonna go ahead and snip these two. We're gonna cut them right off. So I'm gonna take my handy dandy pruners <clears throat> and we're just gonna cut them right at the base, just like that. right at the base and these are definitely pretty dry So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these two sunflower heads and we are going to let them just dry down for a few more days. Um, well, maybe about another week. You wanna set these in a dry location where <clears throat> no bugs are gonna get to them. Sorry, my voice is out. <clears throat> where no bugs are gonna get to them or anything like that. But yeah, this is what they should look like when you cut them. But let me go ahead and show you guys what a seed, um, what these would look like. Okay, so you would go ahead and just rub all of this stuff off. And when they're drier, it's a lot easier to do this. So yeah, this is why you want this to be as dry as possible so that this can come off pretty easily all of those seeds in there
pretty cool so yeah i'm just gonna set these um in my seed room on a table let them dry for a little bit longer and then i'll go ahead and pop these seeds out what's up royal so it's been about two weeks since the last clip that you just saw with me cutting these sunflower seeds off of their stems and i told you guys that you need to let them sit for at least a week to two weeks let them fully dry out so i have a whole cup and i'm just going to demonstrate how to actually harvest one because i thought that would be a better um way for you to see how it's done and then over here i have some extra supplies so when we're done harvesting you have a little baggie um, to put the seeds in and then you can go ahead and label what you need to label and i'll do that right now so these are the variety they're a dwarf a dwarf sunflower okay so I have my package labeled so I don't get them mixed up with the other sunflowers that I'll be harvesting. And let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, these are all, all the seeds are in there and it's nice and dried down. Um, this is the one that I had showed you guys. So it's nice and dry and we're just gonna go ahead and harvest these. So what you do is with this little white piece of paper okay so we're just gonna go ahead and rub these out and I was as I was telling you guys before it's easier to harvest these seeds when the flower is completely dry so let me just break this apart so just kind of bend it to where you can get the seeds out and they'll just fall out, you know, as you work with the flower. It's not the easiest process, but just, um, if you can pull this apart, rip it up and just pop them out that way. It's a little easier to do it if you do it in pieces. You know, while you're doing this, this will be a good time to, you know, watch your favorite show, listen to an audio book, anything like that, because this is going to take a little time for you to release all of these seeds. So, yeah, I think you guys get the point. And then you just want to go ahead and go in and just separate them from all of this extra stuff we have from the flower. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and then I'll be back. All right, Royal. So we're back and it has been about 15 minutes and I've harvested a nice amount of seeds. And this amount is only from two sunflower heads and then I still have a few more little seeds in this pile that I can get out but yeah I just wanted to kind of show you how much you could get from around two heads of a sunflower depending on the size of course but this is what you're gonna get and yeah this is tedious work but it's definitely worth it so that you don't have to buy seeds for next season um, and I went ahead and put the date on this bag so that I knew you know when I harvested these so that wraps up this video I hope that this was helpful um, make sure that you seal these seeds very tightly um, you don't want these getting wet or getting 
rotted or anything like that. So just make sure they're in a safe, dry place for storage and you should be good to go ahead and plant these next year. All right, Royals, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.